so you've got Purfleet facing south by a bit of movement, and if you're lucky, the odd boat going up and down, which is, um, and you can see back to, to central London. I know we're not in London, but I, I wonder about that. I mean, really, in your head, you are in London because you're inside the M25. I can't prove it, but there were botanical gardens here in Purfleet. And of course, Purfleet is, is an interesting place. It has all sorts of secrets. Then the more you go, you realize there's, there's a sort of hidden strength to, to it. There are secrets that locals will reveal to you. You might never find them as a tourist. And that somehow strengthens one, one's own sort of feelings about the place. In fact, you know, the more I come, the more I like it. The more I get fearful that we might mess it up. I think the tree should be cadmium orange. And the background should be a sort of a, a slightly watered down Prussian blue. So we make, take full advantage of, 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 of complementary colours, which is an obvious thing to do. But it is a flag and it needs to stand out. You can't have too much in, intricacy in a flag. Um, but of course, it's a celebration of one of the aspects of our plan going forward, which is to do a botanical garden. It won't be the only gardens by any means, but I think it should be, and it will be, by the water, near the, the petrol, uh, near, near the, uh, the oil storage tanks, uh, which is nice, and it should have very comfortable seats in it for people that can't walk up and down stairs very well. <laughs> they can sit and look at the river or enjoy the gardens. And then immediately to the north will be, it will, it will attach itself onto a more normal park where you can go and kick a ball or, or mess around or all of that, so you get two, two parks for the price of one, if you like. But in my mind, they're very separate. And then there's the whole experience of the spaces within the park that we'll, we'll create. I suspect there'll be some water in it somewhere, because that's always very pleasant and very calming. The point is, it's a very pleasant place to sit. I mean, it's a place where you can sit and you're quite happy to sit and just do nothing, to allow things to float in and out of your head. And I think they're very special places, and if we can create something like that, with all the other things attached, and I think it will have been a success.